The roads are just way too rough. It is incredible. Delamination in four of our slide walls. Hey, Ryan just informed me over the walkie-talkie there was zero spots. We got a beautiful story. needing to dump our tanks. It's been nine days, and so we want to get a refresh on everything before we start our next boondocking area. So I called this place and they nobody answered the phone. We're hoping if we just pull in, maybe we can use their dump station, so. It's the most expensive dump we've ever done. Oh, how much? It's $15 dump and fill. Well, that's not bad. It's not free, but that's not bad. Never go get a snack when you're trying to dump the tanks. We made it to the Goblin Valley State Park. There's awesome boondocking all around. So the place that we're looking at, it talks about how there's some sand, could be ruddy roads. So Ryan really wanted to kind of check it out first. Some people have gotten stuck and, you know, we don't want to get stuck, so... Anyway, so he unhitched, and now he's driving around to go see if he can find us a spot. There's a lot of people out here. It looks pretty packed. I, I have in my mind a spot that I want, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I'm just going to wait here, see what he can find. We found a spot, but the Are you serious? We have to abandon that spot because they're shooting and we look back and Han is shaking right bad. Aww. Yeah, definitely. That's not good. <laughs> if you come over here, we could set up Starlink and I could have given another spot. Uh, sort of in this area. Or I could go ahead and uh, pass you, drive it back out to the front and see if there's anything out there. Yeah, you should do that. Maybe we'll just stay right here. It still has views. So we found a spot. It's not as pretty as what we, you know, hoped coming out here. But this will do for the next couple days until all the weekend traffic leaves. And it's still a really good spot. So I need to go back now and pick up the rig and Sarah. Sarah's been sitting with the rig for probably about an hour waiting for us to find a spot. Okay, we found our spot, but this isn't the spot we were hoping when we came out here to Boondock. See this spot right here? That's the spot I want. We had seen a lot of pictures and reviews about the places that were up against the mountains. It is really pretty over there. But when we got over there, we decided that we were gonna unhitch so we weren't taking the rig down those really bumpy roads and kind of scout it out. The roads are just way too rough to bring a fifth wheel on. Although, I mean, I see other people with class A's and fifth wheels back in these areas. We're not gonna do it. I don't know, I watched our rig getting built and we've had some significant problems with our rig. I will not take it down those bumpy roads. Not gonna happen. So we came back out here further away from the park still in the state park area and there is some much flatter ground easier roads so this is where we ended up at one point we found a spot that was a really pretty spot and the roads weren't terrible to get into uh, but our the neighbors there were out there shooting <laughs> that didn't work well for Hannes. i saw some fifth wheels deep back in there and some of the bumps that we went over just driving the 450 back there to kind of scout out are really bad i would not drive a rig over that stuff there are some spots that are like straight shot off the road in but the road in still not the best we'll stay out here
I've been wanting to come to Goblin Valley for a really long time. We finally made it here. It did not disappoint me. There's so much boondocking around here and it's actually outside the state park so you don't have to pay for it. It's free but if you want to go inside the state park it's $20. You get two day access which you want to do because you can go in and play hide and seek amongst the goblins like at sunset. That was great and they also have two caves that we got to visit. They have free um, drinking water. They've got dumpsters for your trash, which we've used. Something I love is that our puppies can come with us and we took them all around as long as they're on a leash. They got to go see the goblins too. That was a plus. I love to go to places where our dogs get to adventure with us. way out here in the middle of all the goblins. This is just such a huge area and I lost my family. Who knows where they are? They're somewhere. I saw this fire pit and it had really good reviews, but it's just like, it's a stand with a mesh, stainless steel mesh top. I don't know. It's it kind of goes against everything you think about when using a fire pit because it's, it's a stand up fire mesh and so you build the fire right on top of this we're going to try it in our existing fire pit you know just so it's safe but what well, works it works so the, the top is made of like a stainless mesh and all the ashes are supposed to just like fall through i haven't seen that yet i'm just thinking like where would we use this at the beach you know okay. dig a hole in the sand <laughs> put your fire pit up light the fire or you just like put all the wood in the hole and light and the fire without the fire pit <laughs> get creative <laughs> So if you've been hanging out with us for a while, you know that we have a lot of problems with this rig. And those problems aren't over. We're still chasing our own goblins. And so right now we're heading south and we don't know for sure once we get south if we're going to go east or west or which direction we're going to go. We've been looking for a repair center over here on the west coast because uh, we have delamination in four of our slide walls. And so those slides are going to have to be rebuilt. Now we've talked to some folks over uh, the, uh, up at Affinity. We've talked to some, some other folks up in Idaho, but we're kind of looking for a place where we can get it done quickly. That's the thing when you're full time is you don't want to go drop it off at a dealership that's going to take an extended amount of time to repair something. So the, the repair centers that we are used to going to, like the Tiffin Repair Center in Red Bay, Alabama, or Tishomingo over in Mississippi, or even Affinity RV, um, when you're set on schedule, they get you in and they get the work done and hopefully it's just a couple days. So that's the kind of repair center we're looking for to get our slides rebuilt. <laughs> So slides are in, we're going to hook up and we're going to head toward Moab and hopefully we can find a good boondocking spot because Sarah's been having a problem finding just that right one. We'll see you next time. Ryan ordered something off Amazon, a standing fire pit so you can use it if you don't have a fire pit. All right, so why the heck did we buy this? Uh, you're, you bought, this was your deal. This is your thing. It's like 24 bucks. But I mean, it's, I think it's, it's cool. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what the cleanup's like. Nobody close by where we've been docking before. Turn right on to East Main Street, <laughs> then take the first right. Wow, I still love that. So this actually worked out pretty good. Now we just got to get it all back into this box. It's Thursday, so it's getting close to the weekend. No, I think it's Friday, actually. Let me see. I think today's Thursday. You know, I never know what day it is, but it's Friday. It's not Thursday, so one of my favorite places. Maybe we didn't learn from last week's mistakes of moving on a Friday. I think I say that about everything. I don't even know how to end it, Ryan. Right?